This week, try switching up your math fact practice with this awesome game called Zapped. It's a super fun and easy game to make using items you already have at home. These are the things you will need. Large wooden craft sticks, about 10 to 15 per player. A permanent marker, a wide mouth container, and two or more players. With a marker, write a times tables problem on the end of each stick. For every 10 sticks, take three more sticks and write, draw again, lose a turn, and zap. Players take turns drawing one craft stick. If the problem is answered correctly, the player keeps the stick and puts it in front of them. If the problem is not answered correctly, the stick is placed back into the jar and it is the next player's turn. Be careful, you may draw one that says lose a turn. The stick is placed back into the jar and it is the next player's turn. On the other hand, you may get lucky and pick one that says draw again. If this happens, keep that stick and draw another for the chance to answer the problem correctly. Getting two sticks in one turn. If a player draws a stick that says zap, you've been zapped. A zap means you lose all your sticks and they all get placed back into the jar. Whoever ends up with the most sticks after seven minutes wins. To make this the perfect game for beginning and advanced students, use a black marker on one side of the stick for basic timetables problems and use a red marker on the other side for more advanced multiplication problems. Students know to find their assigned color after drawing their stick. But what if your little sister wants to play? Simply add colored sticks to your set. A player who is learning their addition or subtraction facts or even sight words will need to draw a colored stick from the container and that player knows those are the sticks they need to draw. It's a win, one game for many different levels. Find more fun and games at multiplication.com.